Dude, let's go. Let's do it. We're late. Why are you taking so long? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Hoping that there's a bull right out in that field feeding. Oh, well, let's give it a minute, huh? Yeah, I think so. Alright guys, so yesterday, if you watched the video, Chad jumped a bull going in, so we're gonna we're gonna wait a minute and go um, go on at first light so we don't bump anything. So we're actually parked a little further back up here by Mike's house. Um, and I think we're gonna get get to the field and then split up again and do our do our regular routine. We don't have a lot of time this morning because we have to move cabins. So uh, it's gonna be a quick early morning hunt, move cabins, and then uh, get back out here again for the evening hunt. But it could happen any day, man. It's game time, baby. so many so many freaking turkeys back here it's crazy every morning they're just going nuts there's definitely a few flocks of them around they're so loud fun to see though wish we can hunt them wouldn't mind a fresh turkey breast on the grill tonight you know what there's gobblers down here trying to come and get these hens right here Man, they're so vocal right now. I didn't know they were so vocal in the fall. <sighs> Adds a little bit to the hunt. Makes it kind of fun. Look at them here. Let's go find out. Well, like uh, like I thought, that ended up being a pretty quick morning. We're supposed to be checked out of our room at 10.30, so I didn't want to go too far. And I know Chad didn't, he didn't go too far either, but um, neither of us saw an elk today. It's cool. We, our friend Will had... Um, I had left a camera down in this canyon and it's still there like it's obviously not taking pictures but he has a trail camera down there um been snapping shots from i think like 2013 so it's been there like a few years without getting checked chad told me he just checked it out and there's some big bulls on it some big bucks so uh that'd be pretty cool to check those, those out and see what's on there <sighs> man i think it's time that we uh kind of get in locating mode and Maybe move areas and just see if we can find some other elk because uh, the elk that were here a couple weeks ago obviously have moved out. Look who it is. B team. <sighs> Chad on the phone. I was gonna vlog you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, dude. You quick draw McGraw. Dude. You made it. I made it. What's on there? Text and Max. Ah, no elk again. Slow, huh? Getting our butts kicked. Dude. We are. We getting gotta, worked. I don't know if we need to change something up or just keep at it. Ah, it's tough. A little bit of both. Yeah. I think we definitely need to cover some new ground, try to find some new elk. Mm -hmm. Packed up, heading out of here. See you later. Cabin. We're, uh,. Chad's in front of me with the wheelers and everything. We're getting ready to head to the new cabin um, where we're gonna be staying for the next four days. So today's Monday afternoon and I think Chad's able to hunt till Friday at least. Um, and then I could stay longer if I need to. So moving on, that cabin was good to us, but it's kind of far away from where we're hunting. So we're gonna be like 10 minutes, 15 minutes closer to where we're actually hunting. So that'll be nice save us time in the morning and uh, save us a little bit of gas too but man we need to get on some elk guys we've been studying our maps studying our onyx maps trying to find you know good public land access and stuff and it's tough i mean this is definitely not an easy hunt if someone asked me where they should go hunt elk i would never ever point them to out here because it's so frustrating um, but I still think that we can find the elk as long as we just stay consistent and uh, keep at it. So that's the plan for tonight. All right, here we go. Evening hunt again. Um, we're going to split up, guys. Chad and his dad are going south of me. 
I'm gonna start right here and probably stay here all evening. Just glass off this big point, hopefully try to find some elk. Ugh, it's tough, but we're just gonna stay behind the glass and uh, we'll eventually find some elk and then we'll just have to put a move on them. But it's a little breezy up here tonight. We've got a little bit of cloud cover, so hopefully the elk start moving early. Just gotta pack up all the goods and head out. Well, all set up for the evening glass. Got about an hour and, I don't know, hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes left of light. And uh, tonight is definitely more of a locating mode. I'm not really in a great position to shoot, unless something, you know, comes out right below me. Um, but that's okay, I think we really have to locate some elk because we're getting skunked where we've been. So that's the, uh, the goal for tonight, is to locate some elk that we can get into position tomorrow morning. But uh, I've got this giant, giant canyon right below me. Just looking down here in this burn and all these thick, thick cedars and uh, sagebrush pockets. There's been a lot of hunters on this end. That's why I've kind of avoided it for the weekend. But I think most people have pushed out of here or pulled out of here. Um, so we're going to glass it hard tonight. Hopefully turn up a bull. And uh, we've got some people driving the roads behind me. Probably some locals. They decided to stop at my truck and honk, which uh, I wouldn't doubt if they think I'm parked on private property, but I'm not. That's a good thing about Onyx Maps, always know where you're at. If these guys try to give me a hard time, there's there's no way that, that I'm going to park on private property. I'm parked on BLM and I'm glassing BLM, so it's good to know. So here we go, let's find some help. All right, there's a guy stuck in my truck. Let's see, he says, "Howdy, how you doing?" Okay, no location. No, not right here. Yes, you are. This is there's public. There's a little strip right here in the game where we said there isn't enough land here that you can have. What do you mean? There's, there's. I mean, there's got to be thousands of acres there. Right? I know, but you go under the rim and you can hunt. That's where you I'm You sit at. up here on top. No. So That doesn't make sense. I mean, well, if there's I a boundary, you can... Call. Uh, I'll call. I'll call Dennis right now. Yeah, I'll call him. Because I know this has been marked wrong for years. It's been okay, marked well, private. It wouldn't be any more because I'm going to put a stop to it. <laughs> How can you stop hunting? someone hunting public land right here? Uh, you call Dennis and ask him. Sure, I'd love to. I mean, because just like your your land, there's a boundary. There's not a buffer. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? It's if you're on public, you're on public, you and if you're on private. I mean, I understand where you come from. I know a lot of people have well, harassed me, or have harassed me here, right here. But they ain't going over there. They're going back this way. I'm, I'm. That's not me. I know the boundaries very well out here. I'm not going that way. If you catch me out there, that's a different story. But I'm here because it's BLM, and it is right. You know the boundary just as well as I do. And I'm glassing from here so I can hunt down into there. They told me that I could tell you people not. There's no way they'd say that. I mean, I, I come out here, I understand it's very checkerboard. I've hunted out here for years. I have GPS maps. I know Who where I'm at. Anyway? My name's Eric. Eric Chesser. Man, you know what, guys? People for years have tried to intimidate me to not hunt in this spot and they will tell you, at first they'll tell you it's private. And like you can see, I know the boundaries. I've studied the maps and now that I have Onyx maps, it just confirmed what I uh, knew a few years ago. That guy was actually pretty nice. The last few people have came out here and tried to rip me a new one for being on their land. Now, their argument is there's not enough land to hunt. That's ridiculous. Guys, this is the corner of BLM and it goes for miles. There's, <laughs> there is thousands and thousands and thousands of acres of public land that is huntable right here where I'm at. And uh, he's trying to tell me that the fish cop told him he can kick people out of here. And I just, I'm not buying it. I've uh, got the number to fish and game. I'll call myself and figure that out. But guys, that's why you need to get Onyx Maps. I use the phone app. 
kind of shaky. I mean, I hate situations like that, but going into them when I'm confident, I know what my story and I know where I'm at. I don't get too worried, but I still get like worked up because I hate confrontation. And honestly, I hate yelling at old people. I'm sure they're locals. I'm sure they grew up here and you know, this is kind of their home turf and I get it, but I mean, there's a boundary line. If it's public, it's public. And if it's private, it's private. There's not a buffer. He's trying to tell me there's a buffer zone and you can't hunt right here. Well, I'll tell you what guys, this whole canyon, that's all public land. He tries to tell me there's not enough to hunt. <sighs> Get your Onyx map, guys. When you go to their online store, if you use um, the discount code HUSH, you'll save 20%. I'm gonna throw that plug in there because you saw for yourself how useful it can be so know your you know your areas know where you're at know the private know the units know everything and honestly have a have that fish and game officer on speed dial like i do i've talked to him multiple times out here and sure i'm not afraid to tell him because i know i'm right so anyways back to glassing let's go uh-oh uh-oh money mendez breaking out the wheeler oh yeah <laughs> I think we're gonna get the wheelers for tomorrow um, so we can ride into some big big canyons try to check some new new ground so Chad's loading his up mine's on the trailer in town so I'll probably have to go get that but tonight slow again tough guys I know I've said it before but this is a tough hunt with not a lot of elk to hunt and really limited access to hunt them on so I'm just gonna keep plugging away but that's uh day three of the hunt day four this is the fourth video so I'm gonna get to cutting this one right now and uh, upload it for the morning all right there you go you can see editing this video right now and I pretty much wrapped it up when I, we got back but after watching this clip where the old guy tried to tell me that the fish cop told him that he can kick people off of the BLM <laughs> I'm, I knew it was BS I actually um, talked to the fish and game officer and he said he's had a problem with that landowner out there before in the past and he just likes to he likes to tell people they can't hunt there so um, I did call fish and game I confirmed that it's public there's no reason for that guy to try to kick me off public land so I wanted to ask you guys have you ever been in a situation where you were intimidated by a public landowner or I'm sorry, intimidated by a private landowner on a piece of property that you knew you were accessing legally, 100% legally? Um, any story related to stuff like that, um, put in the comments below. I'm going to read all those and, and see what you guys say about it. But I mean, private land and public land, that's a big thing. And with the help of Onyx Maps, you can really know where you're at and if it's accessible or not. So. Um, check that out on X maps, but seriously comment below on uh, your experiences with like that I've heard a lot of crazy stories from landowners and like I said before there's been some really rude ones out there that tried to Intimidate me to leave and uh, you got to know where you're at at all times that way you can stand up for yourself So definitely don't bow down to those guys. All right. So anyways comment below. We'll catch you later